All right, we're here with uh, Miss uh, Davis today. Um, you want to tell us what's going on today, Miss Davis? Yes. Um, we're here today um, to call, have a peaceful protest for my son, Dominique Xavier Towns. Um, in June, my son went missing June 25th. He was missing from June the 25th to June 30th. Um, the protest is because um, that we didn't have any uh, Fort Valley PD out looking for my son. Um, we had the next um, actually have a complaint against them for neglect and misconduct. Um, they neglect to get out and search for my son for those five days. Uh, my son had to be cremated because of that. Um, being out in 90 degree weather and out in um, and I'm sure, you know, um, other things were getting in, in the car and, you know, affected his body. So I had to have him cremated. And the misconduct is because we have audio saying that they were not going out to um, find him. They was not going to search for him until that next Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday of that next week. So we also have audio of them, you know, making fun of him, making jokes, saying that he was gay. Um, his phone was pinged in Macon, Georgia, but he was found on 96. Uh, so did we, that's another complaint that we have. Investigator Marbury made a joke saying that Dominique took his phone and threw it out the window in Macon and went to Atlanta and changed his name to Dominatrix and went to work at a gay bar. So, you know, I have all these complaints. I have no one there that has come to give me any updates on the case. They've closed the case, but they haven't updated me on anything, haven't told me anything. Um, and um, every time I try to get on the work session, they turn me down. Everything I try to do, they turn me down. Like right now, I'm down here to do the protest, and they won't even turn the power on for me. So those are the type of problems that I'm having with Fort Valley um, PD and um, Mayor and City Council. Now, you did say that you had uh, already applied for a permit and it was approved, correct? Yes, it has. I have an email with them saying that I was approved, but then they have public work, public works that won't come turn the power on. So I'm not sure if, you know, they told them not to turn the power on or what's going on. But right now, I don't even have power to turn my speaker on so that, you know, we can um, have my speaker to speak when he comes. So we just been having so many issues with them um, as if I've done something wrong when they're the ones that let my child sit out on 96 right uh, two, three miles up the road from home for five days. So I just, you know, we're protesting. We're trying to get some justice um, for my son, I don't need to take the time. As we going down this road, uh, we got some called the First Amendment. We got the right to peaceful protest, and uh, they keep telling us we ain't got that right. So we want them to keep uh, making their mistakes and tripping on their own feet. Now, when we talked on the phone, um, you mentioned something about the 911 calls. Can you elaborate a little bit on that after this truck goes by? Well, during the time that Dominique was missing, we called 911 several times because um, the investigator did not give me his cell phone number, so I had to keep calling 911 to get a police officer to come out. And um, 911 told us to stop calling them because we were blocking their lines. So we, um, you know, we just didn't know what else to do. We didn't have a number because the uh, police station is not open on the weekends. So we couldn't call the police station. And Corey Marbury, the investigator, did not give me his personal cell phone number. So you're saying that um, 
that the police departments closed on the weekends, and the only way that you could get in touch with an officer was by calling 911. That was the only way that I could get in touch. Because I didn't give you a phone number either. Yes. Right. The only car didn't give me uh, his phone number until that Sunday that he invest that he um, interviewed me, and he didn't even have a car to give me or anything. Uh, when the marshal was the detective that was there with. Um, Cora Marbury at the time, those were the two, the, um, Cora Marbury, uh, the, uh, Chief Sturgeon and uh, Investigator Cora Marbury and Willie, Detective Willie Marshall are the ones that were on the audio and the ones that were talking about my son and uh, making jokes and, you know, it was very personal things that they were saying and also Chief Sturgeon is the one that made the assumption that Dominique was not in any, any danger. So he didn't have GBI to come out and help. So, you know, those are my complaints. That's what we are uh, protesting about today. You also said too when we talked on the phone that you know you know your son very well, and he had borrowed your car that day, and he didn't contact you that day, and you just knew something was wrong. It's something out of character to him. On um, day one, I knew uh, that my son was missing because um, he was the type of person he would always call me. Dominique was supposed to get off at eight o'clock that night. Um, be actually before then I felt like something was wrong because he had not called me all day. So at 8 o'clock he did not call um, and you know normally he'll call me if he want to stay out a little late and use my car and he you know just to ask could he keep the car a little longer. He did not call. Um, we did not hear anything from him um, that night. I hadn't heard anything from my son since he left home, left home to go to work that day, and that was between 1:30 and 1:40. He was supposed to be to work at New Way on Russell Parkway and one arrived. Mm. So I'm just, you know, I haven't seen my child face since he left home that day. I'm sorry. I know that's hard. I know that's hard. Is there anything? Um to the viewers that you would like to um, to share to them or a specific message you want to get across to them um, either about your son or about the police department and how can they help you out? Well, I'm coming to the community to ask them to come with me. I formed an um, organization called Tribe Strong and my purpose is to let people know um, that sometimes you have to, you know, just do. My purpose is just to let people know that when uh, someone is missing, you know, you can't depend on Fort Valley PD. Um, you're going to have to get out on your own and, and, and you know, search yourself. We didn't have any help at all. So as Child Stone, what I'm trying to do is, if we have anyone that's in Fort Valley that's in a bad position, try to call me or someone that's in my organization. We will get out and we will help. That's my purpose for Child Strong. Do you have a uh, website or a, um, an email for Child Strong? I have, actually right now I'm making a, um, I have an email which is dxt. T R I B E 
S T R O N G at gmail.com. And also, I'm making a YouTube channel putting all our protest videos on it and all our pictures and everything like that. Do you currently have a YouTube channel set up for that yet? Yes, when I have a YouTube channel. And what's the name of that? Um, it's just going to be under um, Dominique Xavier Towns. So that's where you can find all the pictures of the protest and all our pictures of the balloon releases and his celebration of life. I'm going to give y'all an update on what, what we've been going through since last time that uh, we've been up here. Everybody know that they have a Zoom meeting once or twice every week. And they've been shutting us down in the meeting ever since we've been going to the meeting. Uh, the mayor, city administrator, uh, won't let us speak. They shut us down every time. But we still standing strong, pride strong. So, uh, thank you. They got something called public reference. Anytime that y'all want to go see anything that goes on downtown, your first amendment is we can go to the public records and find out what's going on. Please, the stuff that you say is we don't know what happened to Dominique Towns. We know what they told us happened to Dominique Towns. It's too inconclusive. Ask yourself a question. If you know for certain that it was an accident, how fast was he, was he going? What caused the accident? There's a difference between reactive and proactive. Reactive means you call the police, they're going to show up. They're going to answer to you for whatever you call. They're going to try to get some answers to your concern. Proactive means they come to you before you talk to them. Don't try to make us believe that because police showed up at the, at the store, the family called. Don't mistake that. They showed up. They were not investigating that on their own. I said they were investigating from the seat and not the street. We won't answer. What person who think they did something wrong, don't get them a lawyer so they don't have to speak. The city of Fort Valley will not allow Spurgeon to say a word. They are gagging everything that we try to do to get answers every time. Go and pull up all that on the open record. So if you want to believe the inconclusive report, they got ways of, of, of putting science behind what they're telling us. So what I've been requesting is just that. Call the reconstruction team out there and reconstruct that accident. We are taxpayers. You all are taxpayers in different places. They know it. They don't want to know the truth. They can't handle the truth because the head of the department came on record and said they didn't think Dominique Town was missing. He went on Facebook and said that they were hoping that he wasn't found. So they can, they can have something to support that theory. So if you all think that this is just another way of gathering, think that this is just another way of just coming together on a Saturday, we got people that sit on Mayor and City Council will not discipline somebody who they heard, the investigative team heard, talking inappropriately about Dominic Town, talking about he changed his name, talking about he moved to Atlanta, uh, Atlanta. talking about he's gay. So what if he was? So what if he moved? Where did you get your fight from? Very well detailed. Now, in 30 years of law enforcement, I never seen a, a report so detailed in my career. You to my every eye, uh, God and every T cross. But it all boils down to you didn't want to get out there. I believe it took somebody else to motivate you. A family should not have to falsify uh, a fight in order to get a law enforcement entity, an agency to come out 
and do their job. Well, they got a chance to do for the next person that came up missing in Fort Valley what they should have done for Dominique Town. That was my job. That was my expectation. And that was my loved one for our local law enforcement. What will my expectation be? Do your job. Stop, stop talking loud and saying nothing. Like you, you all are so invincible that you know all the answers and you can't do the simple thing. Get out the car, bar and boots, boots on the ground, and search. Community policing, you have to have a community involved in your decision making. You have to be able to have some feedback from different neighborhoods and communities. So what I'm saying is, they are not going to quiet this. I don't speak for myself. They're not going to quiet my voice until the answers that need to be asked. And we've been petitioning Mayor City Council for, her to, for Mayor Wayne to do a special call meeting. I never heard that you got to sign a waiver that you will not seek legal counsel or representation in order for us to talk to you. You are suppressing our voice. You are trying to keep the truth away from the people. And we everywhere else, like we in 1836 right now, if you can gather together in a restaurant to eat, you should be able to gather in City Hall where we can face or you can face your accusers. Where, where at? I bet you she better not. I bet you she better not come over here. Let me go get this video real quick. I want you to. But she better not bother me. I am not in the mood today. So this is the mayor of Fort Valley here. You know, in my opinion, she's just as crooked as the rest of them. She is. She works. Yeah. What's worse is she's got the power to do something, but uh -huh. but won't do a thing. She don't want to. Mm -mm. She the reason for everything. That's the mayor there. Good morning. We're asking all of you here. God, we come to you again, giving thanks for you blessing us one more day. We come together, Lord, for a common cause, Lord. Realize, Lord, in your word that you say, oh, for all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord, and for those who are called according to his purpose. God, we have purposely been brought together by you, Lord. Oh, Father, just to bring justice to Dominique, Lord. And Father, we stand together today, united, Lord, believing that the truth will come out. It's like 40. Clearly see the divide in the line. City employees on one side. The community coming together on the other side. Go! 
about the point that they take. We've been doing the same thing for years. We don't want to give nobody another opportunity to lead the city, to lead the county. That's why this stuff keeps happening. We got these same people that are stuck on the same thing. It's time for a change. Don't think we all see 2020, what's going on in this world right now. God is making a statement. When President Trump caught that coronavirus, that's another statement that God made. You ain't nobody no bigger than him. So y'all need to wake up the fruit, the pride, like he told them, his fruit. Stand by, stand by. Pride strong, stand by, stand by. As a people, we can be stronger than we want to be. And if anybody see what my sister been saying on Facebook for the last three months, and not see what's going on, hear what's going on, we need to change. Vince is running for sheriff. Y'all get out and vote. I'm not campaigning. I'm not talking about anybody, but y'all need to listen to what he's saying. We need to change to what he's telling you now. What he can do for y'all, what he can do for this country. Well, we're saying that this happened to Dominique. We can also fight by voting for the people that don't need, I mean, that needs to be in office and not voting for the people that's in office. So we need to get on our march, march down to vote. Everybody grab a friend, take a car full, and vote these people out of office that did wrong. So that's what we need to do. We need to vote.